Hey guys, Tyler from Race Me Canada here. Um, today we're going to do a short tutorial on how to update your Race Me Standard and your Race Me Pro tuners. Um, these tuners do not come with the connection cords to the computer. Um, they are a standard printer cord, so you guys will have to uh, you guys will have to find one of those. Um, any uh, any local office store will have them, or just pull the one out of the, out of the back of your printer. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to RaceMeCanada.com. Um, from here, you'll obviously come to our website. Uh, if you need to get a hold of us, we do answer these emails every day. Um, there's also a toll-free number if you guys wish to call us. All right, from here, we'll go to the Updates tab. Um, we will need 7-Zip, you guys. This is, uh, used to, um, this is used to help uncompress any one of our updates. Um, we have to send them in, uh, in a compressed format just so you guys aren't downloading them all day. So um, we'll click on that. Um, that'll take us to their website. They do offer two versions to find out what version you are. Uh, just click on the Start menu. Um, click on File Explorer. We are using Windows 10 here. Um, and then find your computer or it may say PC. Right click on that and then just hit Properties. This will give you basic information about your computer. If you scroll down to, uh, or if you look down at System Type, you'll see that we're a 64-bit. So uh, that's just a way to identify your, your operating system. Um, we'll close those windows. Uh, you click on your corresponding link. Um, it'll download uh, it'll download 7-Zip for you and then just follow the prompts to, uh, to install it. Once we have that installed, just uh, back up here. Um, we'll scroll down to our corresponding tuners. We are using a, uh, a Race Me Pro today, so um, the setup, the update utility for the Pro and the Standard are both the same, so these are the same updates. Um, just uh, in order to get the uh, utility, just click on the setup. Um, that'll download down here. Um, also, while that's downloading, you can click on the update file, which I've already done, um, and that'll download as well. Um, once we, once these downloads are done, um, you can just click on them from here. If you lose your your downloads uh, bar down here, like let's say we exit out of it, um, these downloads do go somewhere. So all you need to do is click on the Start menu, click on File Explorer, and then click on Downloads. That's going to uh, that's going to take us to where we downloaded our stuff to. Um, in order to uh, in order to install the update utility, all we simply do is just double click on it. Uh, that'll bring us to this page. We'll just double click on the setup. Um, this will open up the installer. Once again, I do already have this installed. So um, once we click next, um, where mine says modify, yours will say installation. So just leave it on that, follow through, click uh, click everything until you get done. It'll say finish. What this is going to do is this is going to put the erase me icon, which is the update utility on our desktop. Um, the other thing we need to do is we need to uh, prepare the file for downloading. So we'll go back to our downloads and uh, we'll pick our file. It'll open it up in here again. Um, all we need to do like this, all we need to do with this is highlight it, um, click on the extract. It's going to ask us where we want to uh, put our file. Um, in order to make it easy, we'll just click browse, scroll up to the top here and click on desktop. Select folder. Um, our, our destination is now our desktop. We'll click extract. So once that is done, we can uh, close all these uh, pages, and um, it's going to sh our our update is going to show up on our desktop. If you just put your, your mouse over top the update, it will show you the type of file is an RMU file. If for some reason you're you've done something wrong and it's not uh, an RMU, it's still in 7-zip or is .7z or or uh, any one of those types, when you go to the update utility, you will not be able to find this file. It has to be a, uh, a RMU file. So from here, all we're going to do is we're just going to open up the utility. Uh, there is only one button. Click on update the product. Um, if you if you if you're not on your desktop here, if it doesn't say desktop, uh, all you need to do is just go to the top, click on desktop, and it'll it'll bring you here. Like if we went to pictures, this would say pictures. If you want to get back to desktop, just click desktop. We've already saved our file there, so all we do is select our file and then click open. If you do get this uh, error. Um, it means that you do have a connection problem, whether it be your USB port, your cord is bad, um, uh, your tuner is not powering up, uh, something has gone wrong with the connection. Um, all you need to do is just is just plug your, uh, or just find a new cord or just remedy that problem. Um, ours was just simply unplugged. 
So all we need to do is click OK, close it, reopen it, update the product, find our download again, and then click open. This is going to uh, this is going to initiate the upgrade to your tuner. Um, first, it's going to erase all the memory, and then after it's done erasing the memory, it will uh, it will write the new file to your tuner. Um, that's pretty much all you got to do is just is just wait out the upgrade. Um, once the upgrade is done, close your utility, unplug your tuner, go to your truck, and you are ready to download. That's uh, that's pretty much all you got to do, guys. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.